This was a stupid action carried out by Russian soldiers while being chased by Ukrainian FEV drones on the battlefield. As seen in the video, after detecting a Russian hiding place under the ruins of a building, the Ukrainian FVV drone immediately played around with Russian soldiers. Innocently, the Russian soldier immediately ran and hid behind the trees, but was again chased by a Ukrainian drone. Suddenly, the Ukrainian FVV drone lost control and Russia decided to slam the downed FVV with its assault rifles and rocket launchers. Instead of being safe, this backfired on the Russian soldiers, causing the drone to explode right next to his body. Other footage also shows FPV attacks on Russian troops and infantry carried out by the Ukrainian 6 time separate mechanized Inhulit brigade on the front lines. In the video, several Russian soldiers can be seen trapped in the open and immediately chased and destroyed by Ukrainian FPV drones. Perhaps this warned Russian soldiers that wandering the battlefield without any protection was not a good idea. Ukraine's armed forces also shared brutal moments when Ukrainian troops repulsed and destroyed a Russian armored convoy in the south of the country. Drone footage from Ukraine's 25th Airborne Brigade shows a Russian armored convoy being ambushed and destroyed by Ukrainian FVD drones. After the first attack was successful and hit directly behind the Russian tank, the Russian troops immediately dismounted and tried to flee desperately. The Russian BMP also tried to withdraw and leave its colleagues there, but these efforts were in vain. Quickly, Ukrainian drone operators immediately targeted the BMP and burned it. Russian troops launched attacks three times in this direction, and according to the Southern Operational Command, counter battles of the Southern Defense Forces occur every day, the enemy does not abandon its intention to expel Ukrainian units from their positions despite heavy losses. Another video shared by the Ukrainian Armed Forces also showed the moment a Russian BMP-3 exploded on a mine after another attempt to attack the positions of the Ukrainian 79th Airborne Brigade near Novomikhailivka, Donetsk region. The surviving Russians, abandoning their burning equipment, tried to escape. However, they were destroyed in a brutal attack carried out by Ukrainian troops. Ukraine's armed forces also shared footage showing the simultaneous destruction of two Russian T-80 BV tanks by a swarm of FVD drones. A large explosion can be seen in the video, and it is certain that the abandoned Russian tank was destroyed and could not be found again later. Another video also shows the moment a Ukrainian FVD drone dropped an American M67 grenade on a Russian BMP-3 abandoned on the battlefield. In the video, it can be seen that with just one touch of the grenade the BMP was immediately shattered into pieces. In another video, you can also see a grenade being dropped right on top of an abandoned Russian tank on the battlefield, causing it to explode in huge flames. In the past day, there were 72 clashes on the front lines. The Ukrainian Defense Forces successfully repelled some Russian attacks in six frontline areas. At the same time, Russia lost 730 troops, 29 tanks, 20 armored fighting vehicles, and 15 artillery systems, according to the trusted Ukrainian media outlet Espresso. Meanwhile, Ukraine is developing a fleet of first-person view, or FPV drones, one of the most popular drones in the air battle with Russia, to inflict more damage on Moscow's armored vehicles as Kyiv struggles with dwindling ammunition stocks from Western countries. 
Ukraine says it is developing armor-piercing ammunition, known as EFP, that is compatible with its fleet of FPV drones. According to Ukrainian media, the weapon is designed against military vehicles with some armor, including armored personnel carriers, infantry fighting vehicles, and self-propelled artillery. The munitions can travel at speeds of 1,800 meters per second, according to Ukrainian sources. The explosive-shaped projectile, or penetrator, EFP, is not a new technology, but a version of the standard armor-piercing shaped charge bullet, said military expert David Hamling. The main advantage of Ukrainian FPV drone ammunition lies in the Kiv operator's ability to trigger the bullets remotely. Mikhail Fedorov, Kyiv's Minister of Digital Transformation, who leads Ukraine's drone efforts against Russia, said in December that they sometimes work more efficiently than artillery. As concerns deepen over Ukraine's scarce ammunition supplies, new EFP ammunition mounted on FPV drones may help bridge the gap between Ukraine's ammunition stockpile and the reality of how many rounds it needs. Ammunition is Kyiv's top priority on the list of aid requests from Western countries, but NATO supplies have run out, one of which is the much-requested 155mm caliber bullet. Over 25 months of war, Ukraine has raced against Russia to develop innovative drone solutions, and Kyiv dominated FPV manufacturing by early 2023. Russia then responded by increasing its production program. Kyiv, meanwhile, has held several fundraisers to maintain a supply of cheap but vital drones. A Ukrainian commander said in mid-December that Kyiv warplanes had only one FPV drone out of seven Russian FPV drones in key battleground sectors in eastern and southern Ukraine. Ukraine says it is on track to produce more than one million drones by 2024, surpassing a target set by Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky for the end of 2023.